Um, I'm glad to be here to be able to share some important information with all of you. Um, as the governor and I have emphasized repeatedly, the best way for, to combat the spread of the virus, of the COVID um, virus, is by getting vaccinated. Um, if you already are vaccinated, the best way to help protect yourself and your families is by getting um, your booster. As the governor said, some of you have made out your mind and are feeling that you don't want to get the vaccine. But I want to ask you one more time to reconsider your decision. And I have friends that are in the same position as you. I have relatives that are in the same position as you. But I also have I've known of cases of individuals that have passed due to COVID that were not vaccinated. So I want to ask you to one more time, think about it. Think about people around you. Just ask about individuals that has passed recently and find out about their vaccine status and think about how you can make a difference by getting the vaccine. That could be the one thing that can save you from ending up in the hospital. And I'm going to make sure that I address this point also um, in Spanish, because I want to uh, bring the message also to um, everyone in my Latino community, um, bring the message again. Quiero recordarles, yo tengo amistades, tengo familiares que también piensan que ya tomaron su decisión y que no quieren tomar, uh, a ponerse la vacuna. Pero como dijo el gobernador, de la única forma como nosotros podemos uh, tomar control de esta enfermedad y evitar el que nosotros um, terminemos en una situación que estemos hospitalizados o que un familiar de nosotros esté hospitalizado, es por, uh, al ponernos la vacuna. Si usted ha tomado su decisión de que no quiere ponerse la vacuna, yo le quiero pedir por una vez más que reconsidere su posición. Piense por un momento en las personas que usted conoce recientemente que han lamentablemente perdido su vida por causa del COVID. Y piense y pregunte y vea usted mismo cuántas de esas personas que han fallecido eran personas que no estaban vacunadas. Nosotros no lo podemos forzar a usted a que se ponga la vacuna, pero yo quiero que usted se tome el tiempo y tome su propia decisión basada en la información que está disponible. Nosotros vamos a escuchar de la directora del Departamento de Salud y ella nos va a dar datos específicos de los números de casos de personas que han fallecido por COVID que no estaban vacunados. Nosotros vamos a hacer todo lo posible por ponerle a centros de vacunación disponibles y accesibles a ustedes para cuando usted tome su decisión, el centro de vacunación esté disponible y, y pueda ir a hacerlo. A continuación, yo voy a proveer un listado de lugares que van a tener a uh, centro de vacunación mañana y si usted uh, toma su decisión, por favor, vaya a uno de estos centros o comuníquese con mi oficina y nosotros le mandamos, uh, le podemos dar los detalles de dónde puede ir. I'm going to list some um, centers that are going to be open tomorrow for community uh, vaccine. We have been doing everything we can to make sure that you can get this, the vaccine at the state run um, vaccination clinics. You can get it with your doctor. You can get it at the pharmacy. But we have also established some locations, community-based locations in which you can go and get the vaccine every day. Uh, the list for tomorrow, um, Thursday 13, include locations in Barrington, East Greenwich, Lincoln, Providence, and Wakefield. For tomorrow, uh, from 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m., the Amos House in Providence, you can get the vaccine. From 3 p.m. to 7 p.m., the Barrington Senior Center, you're able to get the vaccine there. From 5 to 7 p.m., you can go to the East Greenwich Library. From 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., 
the Johnson and Wales University, the Harborside campus, from 4 to 7.30 p.m. at the Lincoln Middle School, from 5 to 7 p.m. at Open Doors in Providence, from 5 to 8 p.m. at the South Road Elementary in Wakefield, from 2 to 6 p.m. at the Swift Community Center in East Greenwich, and from 3 to 5.45 uh, p.m. at the Blessed Sacrament School in Providence. This is just an example of the community vaccination sites that we have available for tomorrow, the 13th. And my office is gonna be sharing every day the list of community uh, vaccination locations where you can go. Finally, I just want a reminder to everyone that we have available the app, the 401 Help app. And it's very convenient for you to download this app on your phone and to be able to have access to um, the vaccine records uh, for you and your family. I was able to go download the, the app and download my vaccine record. The information is available there. I can tell you the first time I went there, I thought my booster information was not there, but you have to swipe to the right to make sure you can find it. And I was able also to download the one from my family, download my, my daughters. So there's a, there has been about 32,000 um, downloads of the app already here in the state of Rhode Island. I'm going to uh, also mention this in Spanish. Uh, les quiero recordar a todos que pueden bajar la aplicación del de Departamento de Salud, que es el 401 Health, y con esta aplicación usted puede bajar sus récords de vacunación. Si usted tiene que presentarlo, ya sea para ir a, a un a un evento público que requiere que usted esté vacunado para atender, lo puede tener accesible justo en su teléfono. Uh, finally, I'm just going to add an, another uh, very personal note. As many of you know, uh, COVID uh, the, the COVID-19 uh, affected me and my family um, over the holidays. You really don't want to get this in. I was fortunate enough that I was uh, I had taken my vaccines and also I was, had my booster already on. And uh, still, the illness is, takes a toll on you. So I just want to once again um, remind you to please get the vaccine because this is the only thing that we can do proactively to protect ourselves and protect our family. I'm honestly unconvinced that if I had not gotten my vaccine and my booster, I probably would have been one of those cases that ended up in the hospital. So once again, I'm gonna ask you, I'm gonna plead with you to please get your vaccine and your booster. Por favor, vaya, vacúnese, y si ya está vacunado, asegúrese de, de que vaya y se ponga la vacuna de refuerzo. Esta es de la única forma como usted puede protegerse a sí mismo y a su familia.